probably take mm. that deal. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. How about this one? Frozen for us. Frozen, yes. right? Yeah, it is frozen outside. It is just brutally mm. cold today, although yeah. the winds are dying down, so that helps a little bit. And it looks like the rest of the week will be relatively quiet. But then another blast of cold for the yeah. weekend. Mm. So we're just not getting out of this cold November pattern. A lot of times when you get a blast of cold that this it's this extreme, it's usually a one-off. It's a one-day or two-day thing, and then you're back to normal. But we've been below average, except for Monday, for a pretty good stretch, and we'll stay below average right through the weekend and into next week. But I do want to show you one more shot of our beautiful sunset in Cape May because at least it's softening the blow that I have to deliver with the seven day forecast. A gorgeous shot there. Look at the blue water with that sky above it. Gorgeous. But now that temperatures have dropped, we're heading down to some near record lows again. We actually broke a lot of records or I should say set a lot of new records this morning. Take a look at our record lows. Philadelphia, the morning low today, 23 degrees. The old record was 24. Reading set a record by two full degrees, 19. The previous record was 21. Atlantic City, a new record this morning at 21. Previous record, 22. Trenton set a new record at 21 this morning. Previous record was 23. And both Allentown and Mount Pocono tied the existing records, 18 and 12 degrees, respectively. So a bitterly cold morning has given way to a very cold afternoon as well. And now temperatures, now that the sun has set, have dropped below freezing again. We're at 30 in Lancaster, 30 in Reading, 30 in Trenton, just barely hanging on to above freezing temps here in Philadelphia, 33 degrees in Wildwood. Remember just back in October it was 95 degrees. Boy, how things have flipped. 37 in St. Louis. It's only 45 in Houston, 47 in New Orleans, 47 in Birmingham. You can see the blues and greens encompassing the entire eastern half of the country. Everybody is feeling the chill, the worst of it, the Great Lakes right up into portions of New England. And unfortunately, it's not going to change anytime soon. Yet another cold front is going to slip through late Friday and reinforce the chill for the weekend. So it's quiet out there right now. Tonight, we're near another record. The current record is 19, set in 1986. We're not going to break it, but we'll be within 5 degrees. Tonight's forecast low is 24. Future weather keeps us pretty quiet. Tomorrow, mostly sunny day. Clouds may increase a bit in the afternoon. There is a system off to the south that could brush portions of South Jersey and Delaware Friday with the chance for a shower. But otherwise, we're clear and calm. Friday into the weekend. Saturday is dry, but it is cold again as temperatures head back to the 30s for highs. So overnight 24, about 5 degrees away from a record. It is very cold. Tomorrow we're back up to the 40s. A little better than today, a little better on Friday, and then right back down to the 30s on Saturday. Breezy and chilly despite sun. And it'll be a chilly and breezy day for the Eagles game Sunday. By the middle of next week, it looks like we start to get a little bit closer to average. But now those averages are dropping too. So mm -hmm. now normal is going to be like 55, which is still pretty chilly. Yeah. It is, it is, but it's better than better what is than it now? This, yeah. 30. Uh, yeah. 30. Okay. 33. 33? All right. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Still ahead.